Yo, yo, guys, what is up? It's Yellow Alpaca, and I'm not going to be as energetic with my commentary today because it's like 2 a.m., and I have to wake up at for school at like 6 a.m., and I just couldn't sleep, and I just wanted to do a commentary, so this is that commentary. So, this commentary is going to be about not getting down on yourself in a game, in a series, and just in playing competitive in general. So I'm going to use an example from my team's playings tonight. So we were doing good. We had just played a full scrim where we got 3 0 but all the maps were really close, like one or like one blitz cap, 5-5 five, five SMD. S, uh, the domination was like 20 points. We, we, all the matches were close. So I we, we didn't get down. I made sure my team was not getting down. We felt good. We knew that it was like our third or fourth day scrimming, and we had we had had some close ass games against a good team. Then we got another TS, and we just got demolished. We played Freight Dom, and it was just it, it was horrible. We got killed off the break to start off, and then after that we just got spawn trapped. We just got completely wrecked. Uh, I tried to like tell everybody like sort of get everybody like to keep it up going in the second side, but every, it was just horrible. We were getting completely wrecked, and like I think I finished that game like like fifteen and like thirty six, so I'm nuts like that. Probably one of the worst games I've ever had like playing. So after that, amazingly the kids didn't leave, so we're like okay, uh, so we were like okay, yo. Some two of our, the guys were complaining. Oh, my team were complaining, but like we we fig, uh, we said we just need to like not get down, bring this back. It's a new game. Can't get down on yourself. The moment you start getting down on yourself, you're gonna lose. You the moment you get down on yourself, you start saying I suck. You start complaining. Or you start making excuses for why the other team is beating you. Is the moment that you just give up. That you're not going to win. As long as you're still calling out, even, I don't care if you're down 300 points in Dom, or if you can't even be down, I don't even know if you can be down 300 points. I don't care if you're down like 12 blitz caps in blitz with like a minute left. You should not be complaining. You should not be down on yourself. You should still be calling out and playing because if you finish that one minute better than you did the rest of the game, that's boost your confidence. Take every, like, I... I can't stand when people complain or when people get down on themselves, especially in the middle of the game. You died, you got bullshit, okay, come back, do it again better next time. So back to the story with my team scrimming today. So we were, we were just like, yo guys, that was last game, this is next game, we can beat these kids in s &D. They went up 2-0 against us to start off, we didn't get a single kill first two rounds. We're just like, yo, it doesn't matter. Bring it back here now. We went on a four win streak and then we traded uh we, we traded maps for to make it five five. So it's five five and one of our guys got bullshitted. Uh it was it came down to a one v one, the kid knifed him through his bullets. So it it sucks, but the point is we uh, we should have come back and we who all nearly did come back compared to how bad we did on the blitz compared to how horribly that team destroyed us on the blitz that snd game we nearly demolished them they had one player that went off if that player didn't go off and if we he didn't get or if we didn't get bullshit at the end by a kid knifing through the uh through bullets we were one and it's just, that's why it's so important to just not get down on yourself after losing a game. Or even in a game. Like, there was other times, like, when we were, like, uh, when we went up on a four-win streak. And then they came back and went up 5-4 on us. If we had just gone down as soon as they had won a round and stopped our win streak, we wouldn't have come out of the game so close. It's just, the moment your team stops calling out. The moment your team stops keeping the energy up, the moment you just, just the, mo the moment one person starts complaining, I'm a, 
no, really, the moment one person starts complaining, that kind of opens the doorway for another person to start complaining. And I don't know, at least with me, I if I hear one person complaining, that immediately I tell them they better fucking stop complaining. Because I know that that's giving the green light to someone else to start complaining. And the moment you have two of your teammates just complaining, or two of the guys on your team just complaining, you're, you've lost. Like, at the point, if, if I if it gets to the point where two of my teammates are complaining, I can't get him to stop, I just turn my headset off. The game literally is lost at that point. You can't play, can, you can't play angry, you can't play complaining, you can't play down on yourself. You always have to go in, you have to go into every gunfight thinking you can dominate this kid, you can beat this kid, you have to call out everything. You can't, you just can't go down on yourself. Never, you can't think I'm going to lose this, this team's going to beat us. I don't care if I fucking play EG. I'm thinking, I'm about to dethrone EG. Let's go. These kids are shit. They got nothing on me. I'm not thinking, oh my god, these guys are like 17-time Call of Duty champions. They're going to just completely destroy us. No, I'm thinking I need to play my best this game. I need to do the best I can possibly do. And know what? I'm going to dethrone EG. And when I dethrone EG, everybody's going to be like, oh my fucking god, they just, these fucking amateurs to dethrone EG. I'm not going to be thinking, oh my god, guys, we're playing EG, we lost, fuck, why are we even going to bother doing this? I'm not going to go into the game like that. If you show up thinking you're going to lose, if in the middle, of, if you ever start thinking you're going to lose, I don't care if it's a 1v4, 5-0 in S&D, like the other team's up 5-0 in S&D, and you are left 1v4, you still got to be confident that you're going to win, you still got to be like, okay, I'm going to get this ace, then I'm going to come back. You can't just be like, oh shit, teammates, why the fuck did you guys leave me in this situation? No, because the moment you start complaining, I don't care if one of your teammates is 0-13, or whatever. I don't care if your teammate is like dropping the biggest donut of their life. You can't, because the moment you get down on them, the moment you go like, dude, what are you doing? Is the is just going to make them play worse. They're, just going, to, they're going to stop playing for the team and they're just going to start playing for a kill. You gotta just play. You gotta just be like, if 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 I see one of my teammates like doing horrible, I'm just like, yo, let's go, pick it up. It's not like, let's go. I need you to pick it up. Let's go, bro. I'm not like, dude, come on, you fucking suck. Let's go, pick it up. You can like, you need to be, you need to not argue, you need to not complain, and you need to make sure you keep your teammates positive. Even if they're doing it fucking horrible, keep them positive. So the moment that anyone on your team decides we lost, the moment anyone on your team decides these guys can beat us, these guys are better than us, the moment you lost. So that's all for my commentary today, guys. I hope you enjoyed.